what is going on community what is going on people of earth we are back here for another kind of late edition of transformers tuesday i'm shooting it on tuesday but i probably won't get to release until wednesday because i've been putting the pro and procrastination and i've legit been a little busy but but i had to come and do this installment of transformers so we are about to dive into issue number nine of marvel's transformers but first i want to give a huge shout out to taki 616 i'm going to have his information in the description uh section of the video he helped me out tremendously not only was he one of the first backers and first supporters of my uh transformers journey but he also let me in on a little secret so i can get uh basically get transformers issues uh from comiXology because i don't have a ton of transformers books uh, outside of issues one through 12. I'm even missing two of those. One of which is issue number nine, which we're gonna go over basically what I read in the digital version. So uh, Taki helped me out tremendously. And so shout out to you, sir. But let us get on to issue number nine. So issue number nine basically starts off at GB Black Rocks. Uh, race car track because what doesn't he have he has oil rigs he has manufacturing he has his own race track i assume he has his own racing team he's got his own hospital he may as well own all of portland but that's not what we're here for um he is approached at his race track by several members uh of the army high-ranking generals and such and they basically tell him that they've heard through the grapevine that he has developed a robot destroying weapon because if uh if you've been keeping up ever since he showed up uh in issue number five shockwave has basically been ransacking all of uh black rocks assets and facilities uh i'm guessing since he has the most technologically advanced products in the world uh, Shockwave needs what he has to accomplish his mission of basically taking over Earth and creating new Decepticons in the process. Uh, and they want him not to unveil this weapon, not to use this weapon, not to bring mass attention to, uh, to these robots that have come and settled down in Portland and have been making noise locally i don't know who they think they're fooling trying to hide robots giant robots in portland like this isn't going to go nationwide but apparently they're trying to keep it under wraps and black rock basically says i have this weapon they have taken my things i'm going to go take the fights of them but after that we catch up with mr black rock at the hospital where his uh, most valued, uh, smartest employee, Josie, is there uh, being taken care of uh, in issue number five, I think, if not six. Uh, she got hurt in uh, Shockwave's attack on the oil rig, uh, which we found out that she is the brains behind most of the oil rig's technology. She is super smart, super sharp, and uh, that's why Black Rock values her. And what she has been doing with her time ever since basically being paralyzed is using the technology at the hospital to build herself almost an exoskeleton uh, that A, can help her walk, help her move around like normal, but B, it has electromagnetic powers. It helps her... Um, control uh control machinery it lets her destroy machinery if she'd like to of course you know this is going to come in into play later on in the book but as we move on we also catch up with ratchet who has 
successfully revived most of the Autobots who were previously inoperable thanks to uh, thanks to uh, Shockwave's uh, violence and aggression in recent issues. Uh, the only person, of course, they haven't revived yet, or only Autobot they haven't revived yet, is Optimus Prime, because Shockwave still has the head of Optimus Prime, and Shockwave still plans on using this creation matrix. But plot twist, Optimus Prime no longer has the creation matrix. If you can believe it, Buster with Wiki now has the creation matrix. But back to our story. Uh, basically, Mr. Blackrock is planning to unveil this weapon, planning to use this weapon on robots in general. He doesn't know the difference between Autobots and Decepticons and the person or the Autobot who is going to teach him the difference and also bargain for fuel is Jazz. Yes, Jazz is going to be our next Autobot that kind of uh, deals with humans. He's getting used to human music, even playing some Madonna on his radio while uh, while Ratchet, who is the the uh, interim leader, is trying to break it down and give all the other Autobots the plan. But the plan that he suggests and Ratchet agrees with is that he go and make a bargain with Black Rock to A, tell Black Rock that the Decepticons are evil, Autobots are not, and B, we'll give you protection if you can give us fuel. So Jazz, along with Will Jack, meet up with Black Rock. They have a discussion. They come to an understanding with each other. Uh, and then we have Black Rock going to announce publicly that he has this robot destroying weapon, which the military doesn't want him to announce, but he's going to announce it anyway. He tries to um, shoot off a test blast on this big, you know, robot statue that he created so he can show everyone what his gun does, but his robot destroying weapon malfunctions. We find out that it malfunctions because Josie aka circuit breaker is in the house and she made the gun malfunction meanwhile under the direction of shockwave uh starscream shows up to this demonstration and he is going to disrupt the party josie takes him down josie takes takes jazz down josie tries to take will jack down the only person who can talk josie off of her pedestal uh and basically calm down this power that she has is Mr. Blackrock and she does him a solid because he has put his time and his money and his effort into her life and so she calls it even says that uh, I'm going to leave and I'm going to stop destroying things and we're even but the next time you see me I don't have any favors to give so uh, that is kind of how we end issue number nine. Um, everybody is still alive. Jazz is probably the worst for wear. Uh, Starscream could probably use some repairs also. But we saw the uh, first appearance of Circuit Breaker, who will no doubt come back around again. But as I said, um, Optimus also no longer has this creation matrix. It is in the head of Buster with Wiki, which is the plan that he had two or three uh, two or three issues ago. I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know how that even works, but that's what that's what's in the book, and that's what we're going to go with. This catch up on Marvel Transformers so far has been fun. I will tell you that issue number ten. Uh, is the first appearance of the Constructicons. So we'll see what happens then. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you saw something you liked. If you did enjoy yourself, go ahead, hit that like button. And if you want to keep up with me, catching up with the Transformers, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Of course, feel free to leave comments. And as we always do at this time, 
love yourself, love others, and I will be back in a flash.